Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Great to be back with you, folks. Rowling and prowling. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions and to be as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 202, NASDAQ off 100, S&P's on 32. Gold, gold contract up $17.50, trading out at 1985 an ounce. We have silver down 4 cents, $23.05 cents an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck sixty-eight, $90 a barrel. There's 90 ducks a bucks again. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note trading down 13 ticks at 105.15. The 30-year up a full point plus 12 ticks trading out of the price point of 107.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 346 ticks at 106.218. Euro 105. Yen trading at 149. British pound trading at 121 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're coming into strength. That being said, though, the bottom line is that you are into that bar, so I suspect the bottom of that bar can be game. So when we take a look at this, you get six, 86 million traded out here today, 3 million excuse me, on three bucks, and you can see this bar. This bar is a big bar. It's 123. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you come down fast enough into it, that's when I suspect selling will subside. subside. But the bottom line is that you're into it far enough, <coughs> excuse me, folks, that you can go to the bottom of that bar once again. We'll take a look at the NDX 100. Now, the NDX is leading on the way up, okay? Bottom line is that you can see it actually how it's shaking out here. Now, we're dealing with the same bar, but you are dealing that the NDX, the three Qs, also want to go to the bottom of that bar. This is the October 6th bar, because you're already halfway into it. You know, you're, you're at a higher price, well, you're at a higher chart level, let's put it that way. But that being said, it still wants to go to the bottom of it. Now, and what's also happening inside the Qs, the Qs are accelerating with volume. Right now, we're going to go into 75 million. Yesterday, we did 54, and you're already at 57. So this thing is whacking right into it. And coming into a Friday, it could be pretty cool because the, the reality is, is that it might jam all the way right down into it. And that's what you'd like to see if you want a rejection of a lower price. If you go sideways, that's building cause. If you go fast enough down or fast enough up, that's when you can get a change in the marketplace. Now, 10-year. Let's go take a look at the 10-year here because this is not stopping. That's the bottom line. We're at 4.979 right now. And the 10-year got to 105.10 today, and we're at 105.15. It's hanging there, man. So let me put the volume on here. Whoops. All right. So, yeah, you still get 2 million, 2.1 million. That's a lot. It's still a lot. Yesterday, yeah, you did 1.9 with 2.1. And if I go to the generic chart, take a look at this, because we were at the, we were at, we know we're coming into a, a huge amount of support. We were at the top of that before I left. And I suspect we're coming slowly but surely down to the bottom of that. So I got to bring this back 20 years. Yeah, so here it is right here. Well, we can go a lot lower. 104.14. 104.04 is the number. What it's already done, it's already broken 
where we had traded for seven or eight months. It did that three days ago. No, 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 no two months ago. Um, hey, we'll see where this shakes out. But it looks like that 104.10 actually could be game. Uh, gold goes off on its own. I mean, you know, bottom line is that we've had a couple great signs of strength. That people are buying gold, man. That's the bottom line. You know, we get 200. And this is good contract volume out here today, man. You get 241, 42,000 contracts. And yesterday you had uh, 270. You're taking the swing point out. The swing point only had uh, 165. No, one. 116. So you're taking that out like in a, a heartbeat. And the way this is set up, you can see the way this is set up, that we have 2128 coming out coming at us. That's that's a big number, 2128. No doubt about that. That's up to the whole other side. And then if we go into the good old dollar, what you're gonna see with the dollar is the bottom line is that. Now, you don't have that correlation out here today, that's for sure. You get a lower dollar and you get a lower market. But this was quite a run, man. And particularly, what was amazing about it was the one day that it got back over its channel line, because that was a huge day of strength, and then it kind of just has been drifting sideways for five days. But I suspect that this is it. The reason I'm saying that this is it is that that day of strength was pretty amazing. Then we got above it the next day, and we just gave it up in spades. So now what we're doing, we're building cars to get the lower price. So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. But it looks to me like with, when you take a look at the broader market, that the S&P is actually just going to come back and test the bottom of the consolidation again. If it does get down there tomorrow, I suspect we'll get a rejection. Because you, know, you get two or three days coming down fast and furious. That's what it takes. You know simultaneously to get the selling over with. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, down 225, Nasdaq's up 117, S&P's up 36. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Mm -hmm.